Today, Gurudev uh, would like to read verse 46 from Shishi Vilapa Kusumanjali. This was for you only. I write it a bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I also want to go understand that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then Gurudev, can you share? Is are the flowers decorating a hair from Radharani? Or is the Radharani's hair? is decorating those flowers. <laughs> First thing, there is no need to decoration to Radhika. <laughs> Flower means softness, and Radhika is the most soft and flavor, <laughs> two things is there in flower, softness and flavor. Outer flavor can go down also, but Radhika's flavor is always increasing. And the softness in Radhika is more, every day, not deteriorating, is increasing. Right? So, there is no need for her decoration by flower. But the Manjari is decorating to Radhika and reminding Krishna at the time of flower. that Krishna will like this. So Radhika's liking is only that she is meeting that moment in Krishna to keeping the flower that Krishna will like this, not for her decoration. Krishna like this way and Manjari inspired Radhika and then Rad Radhika like this what Krishna like. So this, then she say, put on me quick, 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 because it will Krishna, will, my Krishna will like this. This is her view. And the flower is decorated when it comes on the head of Radhika. Flower himself is a flower become. When, when we are reading in the schools, there was one song. What is the use of the flower if it is not go to the lotus feet in the Lord, in the service of Lord. Many born and many flowers die on the tree. What is the use of those flowers? What is the use of the flower when it is not used in the service of the Lord? The flower becomes fortunate to serve to Radhika. Flower feel fortunate herself. And Radhika feels very happy that my Krishna will like this flower. And Manjari, when they see, then Manjari also like that flower 
flavor is lesser than my shop leaf flavor and flower is less soft than my shop easy to come for, for the mandiri because they know she is radhika they have no assessment they think flower is a good smell good flavor and there is only softness in the flower there is nothing softer than like a flower but you see radhika is always meditating to krishna and for his pleasure so you can imagine radhika love flower is so fortunate that these flowers cannot take the place any place in the front of radhika they will feel fortunate to get this chance to be on her head right nothing for herself nothing for her pleasure Sri Ram. Any more questions? Mm. Then is the red leg making her feet attractive, or is the lotus feet bringing sweetness to that leg? Red light with the service by Manjari. That is the attraction. She takes this. She likes to put the red light that my Manjari loves come to in the form of red rack and the service means what is the meaning of the service when his service is accepted used then is a meaning of service and when krishna destroy this red rack he destroy the flower then manjri become more happy that now it use in the service it was used it was touch when they destroy when they meet and they become red like become this not perfect like she do and radhika said you see you have to make again and do this then they feel fortunate of their service and red like also feel fortunate to go to the feet of radhika that they are used in right way and the when she is put in because she knows krishna like this so she said, okay can okay, do this because krishna will red like she then she will he will like this red like because he likes that thing 
spell means very deep meaning. He want to see passion, love for him. So she accept that. There is three colors. One is a blue, one is a yellow, and one is a red. Right or not? This is divine light, blue, yellow, and red. Any place you will see in a form of divine light, it looks like this. So red is divine light, divine passion for the Lord, for the lover. One, you can see through material, body consciousness. One can see why your sarupa is in divine consciousness. It depends how you want to see it. But the pure and divine consciousness is very high and is a pure. Why is natural that you can understand why natural how you can understand it in which condition you are. Divine understand more divine way and Condition, material person also can understand because it's natural. Natural is a word Prabhupada write in Bhagavad Gita and Raghunath Baba said to me, but is a normal, normal or natural normal normal condition. It's a normal. Our Raga Bhakti is normal Bhakti, natural Bhakti. It's not artificial. Normal. The pearl necklace is beautifying her neck. Or is her smile making those pearls shine? Today, Gopinath explained about that. Who explained today? You or Raghunath? Yes, Yeah, Paul Nikras. You can explain. Yeah. yeah. The question is for you. <laughs> You know, pearl necklace <laughs> is like this. When it's broken from the neck, Manjri is looking to Radha and Krishna there. And Krishna is looking to Radhika there, and Radhika is looking to Krishna in this part of the Sorry, Guru, once we are looking to Radha, 
not Radha and Krishna, because they are together huh, in the Parnagras. They are together. Because they are together. The kunja, they are together, yes. They are together. Sorry to say. You say Radha, Manjari, look Radha. But this now they are looking together. Because they are together there. What they cannot want to see, they are hiding seeing from the whole. But for like rest, they can see everything. No. No. What's not easy to see, in the front to see, without going to the hole to see, they are seeing the through the pearl necklace to the divine pastime. Right? And Radhika speak. Krishna, Krishna, Sri Radha. But the eyes is in the pearls, looking, collecting pearls. But it, through the pearl necklace, they are seeing Radha and Krishna together. Very confidential pastime. And pearl necklace is feeling, today I am so fortunate, I become mirror to show divine pastime. And again, she is making, showing us one place to again my Swami will use me. And Krishna will break, then she will feel more happy. That his service is used, right? So all are fortunate, no? Mahaprabhu is Sikshastakam Cheto Darpanam Marjanam. When I can see, where can I see? Like a manjari, even the, in the every pulse, Radha and Krishna together. Swami is very happy today with his freedom. Manjri is always meditating in Swami, but at the same time, Manjri becomes very pleased that some, when the Radhika Swami wants to be with Krishna. And then, for giving more peace, they have to go out. That there is no disturbance happen. And now today, I am so fortunate that Pearl Necklace is giving all fortune to see more details than before, very close. See that.
And most of all, I wonder, will your presence decorate Mohana? Or he will be your decoration? Both are already very decorated. There is nothing to decorate extra to them. Like you are beautiful, what to decorate to you? You are the most beautiful girl in Croatia. So you can imagine when you are so beautiful girl, what you need decoration? You only open your hair and you feel others feel nice to you to see. When you, you can see the material body can be a beautiful, no need any decoration. What about Swami? What about Krishna? He, if they put the cow dung to the face of Krishna, he is most beautiful. And thing they do, he will become more beautiful. Adharani, wake up morning, he is more beautiful than before. When he wear yellow blouse and this, he become more beautiful decoration. They change the blue sari, yellow dhoti she wear, it become more beautiful. What they do, is the most beautiful decoration for them. No need to decorate. Their love is decorating each other. Their love is so intense, they decorate each other. They want to relish, to exchange their love, so they decorate each other. To increase and to see and to meditate, in each other. So beautiful and the most extraordinary, no need decoration. Right? to exchange the feeling and love. They put this time to feel each other. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Thank you for your time. It's all to be in feeling in your sarupa with and feel it in that sarupa with all crystal clear. Varanga uh, Sundar Baba. Now your turn. Radhe, Radhe Guru Deva. Well, now. just continue. Just continue, please. Just continue these beautiful waves which are coming from your heart and mouth. Yeah. Whatever comes to you, please, Guru Dev. Rasamai gave you so much material. <laughs> Just continue. There. I am dry without his mercy. I am dry. Dry, dry. Like a leaf. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a actually 
you say, I am not feeling good health. So my health is not good. I'm not giving classes. I need some recovery. I have too much cold and cough. Not feeling good, feverish. So share, I will listen. You see, I know where I have glasses, but I have to put because my eyes is itching and I no need to rub my eyes. To protect from my hand, I have to put up my glasses. Is not power, nothing. Only to protect my eyes from my hand, you see. <laughs> this is my condition. What we not will say, read. These days I more enjoy by this thing of a pure nature. So we will then read Shishi Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse number forty six. One will be not. Oh, Varoru, nicely tight girl. After you carefully cook many kinds of sweets for Madhu Mathana Krishna on the order of the Queen of Raja Jashoda. You hand them to your girlfriends like me to bring them to your Krishna. O Varoru, nicely tied girl. After you very carefully cook many kinds of sweets for Madhu Madhana on the order of the Queen of Praja, Jashoda. You hand them to your girlfriends like me to bring them to your Krishna. In his Swarupa Vesh, Shiraguna Dasa serves Swamini. He has a very vivid experience of these Rasika services. In the previous verse, he perceived the Surya Puja. And in this verse, he sees how he or she is ordered by Swamini to bring ladus 
and other savouries to Krishna's abode, Nandishvara, in the afternoon. After Swamini had been ordered to diligently prepare these dishes by Mother Jashoda. After Srimati performed worship of the sun god at 3.30 p.m., she is forced to separate from Krishna. After playing with him for more than four hours at midday, because her mother-in-law takes her back home. In Govinda Lilamrita, this event is beautifully depicted. The picture of fair brown radicas fair browed Radhika's golden body was filled with the pleasing milk of her heart's lover's playful sports. This gave great joy to the eyes of her girlfriends. But now, this jug lost its color since the poison of her separation from Mohana turned the milk sour and their eyes began to burn of it. When Shiradika comes home, her girlfriends anoint her transcendental body with cooling substances like camphor, sandal paste, and so on. But these things immediately dry up and fall from her bo burning body again. That is how afflicted she is out of separation from her prana balaba. The sakis are thus continually engaged in anointing Shiradika's limbs with sandalwood bulb lotus stems, green tender leaves, and other cooling substances. Meanwhile, one gopi named Chand Chandanakala comes and tells Radhika that the queen of Raja, Jashoda, has ordered her to cook Krishna's evening meal after Radhika hears from Chand Chandanakala 
about all the nectarian lilacs that he was playing at his parental home. She personally begins to cook sweets for him, just to remain patient. Sri Siddha Krishna Das Bhagaji sings in his Prarthana Tarangini. O Gandharvike, Maybe we can stop a little bit before we continue on this another part. So it's very obviously that what we heard here is actually effect of Radhika's separation from her lover. But also we can see the separation of Raghunath from Radhika. And because Raghunath is always swimming in this strong bhavas, he can relish rasa. Strong bhavas, his manjari bhava specifically, able him to relish rasa. So in the moment of separation, he is still deeply immersed in his bhava. And because of that, he is able to relish the sweetness of rasa, of serving Radhika. And this relishing of rasa brings him more bhava. More waves of bhava are coming from relishing of rasa. And when we put all together, bhava and rasa, we are coming to the ocean of Ananda. This Ananda helps Raghunath to survive this Viraha, but also to survive Milana, the meeting. Because the meeting is also very, very intense, like the moment of separation. And we can see that Radhika, how Baba is planning here, is also has very intense emotions, different waves, and her manjaris are very completely connected with her heart and they are absorbed in her emotions. So they are the feeling the same, what Radhika is feeling. And this is the unique position of Manjaris, because they are, in one sense, not separate, not different from Radhika. And only someone who is in that position can perfectly serve Radharani, knowing exactly what is in her heart. So there is a small part of Lila, beginning of the Lila, 
where Radhika is starting to cook sweets. But also, if you read the commentary, if you listen the commentary of Baba, you can taste how he made the sandesh, rasagula, amrita keli, for us in his commentaries, in his explanations. He made beautiful sweets for sadakas to taste the feelings of Raghunath and also Radhika. So this is beautiful connection with Radharani and with her beautiful dasis. Because they are cooking for us sweets which, which are Amrita, for our ears, for our hearts, that we can increase our bhava, go deep in the rasa, rasa will bring more bhava and more intense bhava, and with their blessings, it will be the bathing in the ocean of Ananda. So this Lila of cooking is not just ordinary cooking. Because Radhika is cooking deeply from her heart. She is putting her Mahabhava. And all these sweets are sweet because of her Mahabhava. Not because of some perfect recipe. No. Whatever he, she touches becomes sweet. Sandesh, gulab jamun, rasa gula, amrita keli pai, of her Mahabhava. That is the reason why Yashoda ordered Radharani to cook for her son. And in that way, we can see how she is also helping Madhurya Rasa, unknowingly. <laughs> so there is, exp we can continue with Siddha Krishna Das Babaji's songs, which is explaining what's going on during this Lila. Hmm. Oh, Gandharvike, Chanda Kala, a gopi that was sent by Queen Jashoda, quickly comes to you and tells you to make and send some cakes for Mohana's evening meal. When you drink these ambrosial words through your ears, you immediately go to the kitchen with your assistants. O oh, merciful one, when can I attain that fortunate state that I can clean your kitchen, make a fire in the heart Clean the cauldron and put it on the heat. I will bring water, coconuts, 
ghee, small bananas, sugar, and flour. And I will grind black pepper and hand that to you while you blissfully sit down on a stool. When will you delight the eyes of this maid servant by making Amrita Kelika pies and other sweets for your beloved? Rade, Rade, <laughs> I'm sorry that I interrupted you. I just want to say a few sharings on this very nice explanation in the form of song. The explanations in the form of songs. That is rasa. Not through the philosophy, but through the song. We can see how nice and the different sevas are doing manjaris. Very simple sevas. They are doing and preparing the kitchen for Radhika's cooking. They are doing with so much love. And each item of their seva is also full of rasa. Because we can serve rasa Only through the Rasa. Hmm. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, it's Krishna Das Babaji is explaining here and saying one very nice word vachana amrita and it's mean that radhika drink ambrosial words from yashoda ma through her ears so we can see that when yashoda is speaking her words are Amrita also. When all devotees who are drowning in Prema are speaking, their words are Amrita. And Radhika also is relishing the words of Yashoda. Vachana Amrita. Full of Prema Amrita from nectar because she is very happy to receive the order because she wants to serve Krishna and when manjaris hear the order of their Swamini this order is also Amrita for their ears And then with full bhava, emotions, intense emotions, they want to do this seva. So it's written here many different things which are Manjaris are preparing. And now Radhika is starting to cook. Rasamaik. Can you continue, please? The 
preparations. A Swamini single-handedly cooks for her prananat in the evening on the order of Mother Jashoda are excellent. She does not wear she does not wear many ornaments and she cooks alone. There is nobody around, so she does not have many clothes on. The maid servant can thus relish the sweetness of her scantily clad body. And she jokingly says, Hey, Shyamaju, the cooling sandal paste and comfort I put on your body to extinguish the fire of your separation from Mohana. swiftly turned into dust and powder. But how amazing! Now, the fire you use to make cakes for Mohana is quickly cooling you off. <laughs> yes, thank you, Rasmi. <laughs> you stop on the proper place. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know what is in my heart. Yeah, we can see here, this is transcendental effect of love. Ice is hot like a fire, actually. And fire is a cold like ice. This is the effect of separation and thinking about Krishna in the Radhika's case. Whatever maid servants are doing, they put the comfort, sandal paste, but nothing is helping to cool down. Everything turned into the dust. Because in the why in the dust? Because the burning fire of separation from Radhika's whole body, not only from the heart, from whole body, made this sandal paste in the dust. And now the fire which you use to make to cook for Krishna is quickly cooling off is becoming eyes, fire becoming eyes. That's the mystery of transcendental love. It's not like material love. No, ice is hot like a fire, and the fire is cold like ice. And the last sentence, which Rasamay didn't read is, Hearing these words, you affectionately tap me on the cheek with your finger. Please, Rad, with your finger, just tap me. 
I want to feel your finger on my cheek. Please tap me. You will show to your maidservant that you are satisfied with my simple seva. Daddy. So sweet. Swamini puts all the preparations on golden plates and covers them with sheets. She has full faith that Tulasi and other maid servants will feed Mohana as if she herself is doing it. Mad Vidhanam Nija Sakinam <laughs> Mad Vidhanam Nija Sakinam means your girlfriends of whom I am one. The practicing devotee should also immerse himself in that rasa. Shinarottam Thakur sings Dehe na kori ho ashta do not, your, do not place your trust in the material body. Trust should be placed in the spiritual body. I am your maid servant. What a beautiful introduction. Krishna Dasa Abhimane Ye Ananda Sindhu Koti Brahma Sukha Nahe Tara Eka Bindu Jaitanya Charitamrita. The bliss of Brahman multiplied ten million times is not even one drop compared to the ocean of bliss the devotee swims in when he considers himself to be Krishna's servant. And the self-identification as Radha's maid servant is even more blissful than that. Radha Rani considers the Kinkaris to be her own. My Rupa, my Tulasi, my maidservant. O oh, Swamini, I don't want anything else but to belong to your group. Please, take me by the hand and accept me as your maidservant. servant. 
a little of this great aspiration should also arise within the hearts of the practicing devotee. Rade? Hmm. Right. Baba is preparing us how to go in our meditation in this lila, in every detail of this lila. And he said that sadakas should immerse himself in that rasa. And it can be done only through the spiritual body. Don't place your trust in material body, Narutami said. Because all trust which we put in material world and material body will vanish. And this is sure to happen. But if we use our material body like an instrument, like a tool to develop spiritual identity, spiritual body and during this life in this body try to be immersed in bhava and rasa then we can make our life really really successful but this this is the first condition which is necessary to meditate and to apply in life of sadaka, that we can go in deep meditation. Because it's not just a mental meditation, yes, through the mind, but we have to feel it from the heart, engage our mind, who is always restless, Chanchala, always restless. And bring him back, bring him back, bring him back, bring him back again, again, again. On the focus of our desire. So Baba is telling us here that Sadaka at least should feel something in the heart. from this loving exchange between Radhika and her loving maidservants. And he said, I don't want anything else but to belong to your group, to be yours. And I want, and you are mine. And Baba is saying here, my Rupa, my Tulasi, my maidservant, Radhika is calling by the name her close Dasis. So we also desire that she calls us by our name. That Guru Manjari is calling us by our name. Like Rupa Manjari is remembering Rati Manjari and said, oh, I want to bring her to see this specific Lila. I want to bring my Tulasi that she do this and this and this Seva. I, we sadhakas, we 
we need this call. But we have to have proper ears to hear this call and to attract with our pure heart. Nothing less than pure heart to receive this call. So Baba is encouraging us, is saying a little of this great aspiration should also awaken within the hearts of practicing devotee. Little, because little will bring more. And more will bring more and more and more. Because this is the way how I understand the bhava is functioning. Transcendental bhava. Is not materialistic bow. A little brings more, more little, more and more, more and more, more and more, and actually never stops. <laughs> I said something. Maybe some others wants also to share. I'm trying to sit Guru there. As much as I can, I'm sorry that you have to listen to me. I have to share all of it. This way we grow our feeling. Yeah. Yes. Read more. Yes, correct. Swamini now sends Tulasi off to Nandishwara with Mohana's eatables, tightly hugging her, she says. Tulasi, go now. Mm. I cannot go myself, but I will be as much satisfied when you feed Mohana as when I would do it myself. How affectionate Swamini is to Tulasi. The practicing devotee should awaken feelings like, Oh, will I not get such affection from you? Even one day in my life, my heart cries for getting that affection. Have mercy and keep me at the feet of your Rupa and your Tulasi. Crying like this, the sadaka will faint and bring down the shower of Swamini's mercy. How mercifully Swamini keeps the maid servant at her chest. Such compassion as the maid servants enjoy cannot be found anywhere else. O oh, Swamini, 
I want to spend my whole life with the awareness that I am your maidservant. Wow. <clears throat> if one cherishes this desire, one will indeed be able to spend one's whole life in this mood. Radhe Radhe Guru Dev. Shri Radhe. Such a beautiful words and instructions, explanations Baba is giving here and encouraging towards self actually. Then when we listen and relish this, then sadaka can tremble because of intense emotions which are pierced in his heart. Not ordinary sadaka, but sadaka who is hankering to attain the position of manjaris. And he is saying, if one cherishes this desire, that he will spend whole life in this mood, cherishes this desire. This is important for sadhaka to nourish, to cherish this desire and the effect of this desire is that he will feel close relationship with Rupa, Raghunatha and all other manjas. My heart cries for getting that affection, Baba is saying. And you are saying also. And practicing devotee should awaken feelings like this. Because when we are listening this exchange of love, when Swamini is putting Tulasi on her chest, this is completely normal reaction to tremble, like a bud. on this wine of devotional service. And he's saying, Sadaka will faint and bring down the shower of Swamini's mercy. bring shower not only drop even the drop is like a shower <laughs> if we don't feel any trembling if we don't feel anything in our heart when we are listening these beautiful mahavanis these beautiful lilas then we have to ask ourselves, myself, what I'm doing here. I'm not feeling anything. I'm very indifferent. And when we are sincere 
and understand our position, we will cry for Kripa, for mercy. Because we will understand nothing can help me. But if we don't have a goal, we cannot cry to attain the goal. Yeah. And this is the beautiful explanation. What does it mean, Una Tojvalras? Beyond Ujval. And this is Manjari Baba. Beyond this beautiful rela loving relation between Radha and Krishna. And only maid servants can witness this. And this is the great greatest gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Radhika has complete faith in them. They are not separate from her. Wow. She is not hesitating anything to do and say in front of them. Wow. So, this is example also of this Una Tojvaras, and she is sending Manjaris, not her friends, not Sakits. Yeah. Manjaris in Nandishwar to bring them, to, to bring Krishna the sweets. <coughs> And it said, Tulasi, go now. I cannot go myself. But I will be as much satisfied when you feed Krishna as when I would do it myself. <laughs> Manjari is feeding Krishna, but not independently. Like, because of Radhika's desire, through Radhika's heart, they are doing this. And this is the way how Radhika, through the Manjaris, are serving Krishna. Yeah. And how the fortunate Manjaris are there, that what is not easy to meditate and find any place. No chance. Krishna is easily available for my day. <laughs> By the grace of God. Very close, they can see and they can serve. Because Radhika gave the service to Mandir. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Guess what's me? Swamini wears a thin sari. not covering her head with her veil. She is in her own home and saying, Tulasi, go now. Feed him nicely and then come back. 
You all know that I am controlled by my superiors. I cannot go myself. When you keep your chest to mine, then you will understand. Look into my eyes once. Then she holds Tulasi to her chest and lovingly hands her the dishes for her pranana. Yeah. What an excellent service this is. The Goswamis cried for such service <coughs> with breaking hearts. I have to serve Mohana while my heart is merged in Swamini's heart and my eyes have merged in her eyes. Such a sweet service cannot be found anywhere. As soon as Tulasi takes the plates from Swamini's hands, she does not feel anything anymore. What a heart trending agony she feels when the vision stops. Ragunata pitifully cries, O oh, Swamini, when will you send your preparations to Mohana through me? Oh, nicely tied, Varuru Shiradike. Oh, enchantress of Mohana. When you receive the order from Goteshwari Chashoda, Goteshwari, you prepare many kinds of sweets named Para Amrita, according to your own wish. In his Manjari Swarupa, Raghunadasa says, When will that blessed day come? When you will place these dishes in the hands of Lalita and your other sakis or even in my hands. When can I blissfully carry these four kinds of delicious foodstuffs and place them into Mother Jashoda's hands? This is the end of the verse 46. Yeah. 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 Wow. I want to share something. Maharaj. Please. Ah. Yeah, they... Ajahn. 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 Ajah
Sadarani Nade I just wanted to share one sentence with me, all of you, my dears, and that is um, what means embrace. If Swamini only embrace some once, there's no fear anymore and you're always protected. So you can go wherever you want and you don't have any fear anymore. And you're always protected. Radhe Radhe. Wow. Jai Ho. I love you. Radhe Radhe. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Wonderful. When she embraces. <laughs> what you need then more. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh.